are you taking a gap year or maybe you're not taking a gap year. Regardless of that, we have some tips for you in this video. Our guests, Shada and Ulvia from Global Citizen Year, will give you a tip what to do if you are taking a gap year and also if you are not taking a gap year, what to do. Check out this video and welcome to our channel, How Real Life Works, where we talk about all the stuff that school doesn't teach you. One tip from each of you for people who are taking a gap year, and also one tip for people who are not taking a gap year. Good question. Um, I mean, I would say my tip for someone who is taking a gap year is to be really intentional about what you hope to get from this year. So when you look back 365 days from now, in a perfect world, what will you have gained? And I think if you can set that intention early and use that to direct what your next move will be, maybe it's Global Citizen Year Academy, maybe there's another program out there for you or something different. But I think setting that intention early can help you make the best of this experience. And then for someone who is not taking a gap year, I would give the advice that I give to all young people, which is take care of yourself. You probably aren't getting enough rest. So get some rest <laughs> and be kind to yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Shade. My tip for someone who is taking a gap year is to be very careful when you differentiate or be sure to differentiate between resting because COVID's going on and there's not much to do versus resting for the sake of your mental health. Because a lot of times people are just kind of not doing anything because, well, they can't go anywhere. But that's not necessarily resting. That is not necessarily taking care of yourself versus um, the way that I was taking care of myself during my gap year was much more intentional and purposeful. And it wasn't just like laying around and, you know, staring at the ceiling. It was doing things that made me feel better and made me feel like I was improving myself. And I did stare a lot of ceilings. Like, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> a lot of it was intentional. It wasn't just like, oh, like five hours just passed because, you know, I can't go out. So definitely like when you're taking a gap here, especially during like times when you're having to stay at home, really put in an effort to take care of yourself because like the way you do it, the way you approach it is so important. And to someone who isn't taking a gap year, my advice would be eventually do take a gap year, whether it's after college or it, while you're having a midlife crisis or something, because you, you deserve that rest. You deserve to like reconsider everything about yourself and truly see if you're, you know, living a life that's meaningful because eventually it will end, you know, and you don't want to be at your like last breath feeling so regretful towards everything you've done. You want to feel like at least a big chunk of it was for yourself and for what you believe in and what you were eager to do in your life. So yeah, take a gap here at whatever point it is. So those were the tips. I hope you found something useful. By the way, if you are a high school student who's interested in creating a content, you can join our team and we can teach you all the things that we know about content creation, writing a copy, inviting guests during interview, doing post-production, doing thumbnails and so on. A lot of things to do. All that you have to do is check out the link below in the video description, which will then let us know that you're interested and we'll get back to you and hopefully we'll make it work for both of us. In the meantime, if you like our content, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications and I'll see you in some other video. Bye bye.